In this video, I'm going to show you how to inlay glaze. Now that your cup has come out of the kiln and out of the first firing, you're going to apply glaze to the inside and outside. Uh, for this demonstration, I chose to just do one color for the inside and outside, but if you wanted to do a different color on the inside, you may do so. Okay. Uh, Make sure that the, uh, the, uh, the glaze is completely dry before applying on your wax resist, okay? Um, you just want to do one layer of wax resist on the outside here. And then you're going to immediately wash out your brush after using the wax resist. Um, we don't want the wax to remain in the bristles, otherwise it's going to ruin the brush. Um, if, you're, if you're using a cup to do this, make sure you pour the water out immediately. Um, and then of course wipe down the container edges before putting on the lid here. Um, okay, you're going to let your cup sit overnight so that it can dry up completely before you do this next step. Um, now before drawing on designs in your cup, you should have brainstormed and you should have had a final design here. Um, you could use your needle tools or any loop tools right here to scratch um, or draw into the wax. So I'm going to go ahead and just use my tools here. Any sharp tools will do. Um, I'm using a needle tool here. It gets much thinner lines. Um, I'm switching over to uh, one of the loop trimming tools here to get um, thicker grooves. You're essentially just scratching into the wax resist and actually scratching away the glaze that was applied initially to expose um, the bisque uh, clay underneath. Okay, so you're just going to be sure to draw your design all around your cup and you're going to notice that you'll have bits and pieces of wax resist left over so you're going to take a, a dry brush and brush off all the wax bits okay brush it off okay now that that's done I'm going to get a different glaze color here and I'm going to apply it over where I have drawn into the wax uh, resist, okay? And wherever the bisque where is exposed, it's going to soak up the glaze. And you'll see wherever the glaze hits the wax, it resists it. And you're just gonna take a damp sponge and gently wipe away the excess uh, glaze. And you'll see that in parts where the glaze has um, inlaid, it's going to stay there. Okay, this is optional. So if you want lines of a different color, um, you can go ahead and apply wax resist to the areas where you have just put that second glaze. Okay. And of course, you're going to then immediately clean out your brush and um, let the wax dry. Um, you can let it sit overnight, or you could just take a sponge and wipe it away. Um, you're then going to carve your designs and then apply a second color of glaze here. And gently wipe off um, the excess glaze. Uh, if you don't let it dry off completely, um, you wipe it away. You might actually wipe away the glaze completely. So um, that's what I did here. I'm just going to reapply it, let it sit for a while, and then gently wipe it away. And that's how uh, inlay glaze works.